Welcome to Cinema First, your first choice in independent film and tech. And once again, we're here shooting live, and we're with, yes, I know, I've told you about him before. And finally, you get to meet my good friend, Jeff Taylor. Hello out there. How you doing, Jeff? I'm doing pretty good. Jeff is a um, photographer, editor, filmmaker, lighting, does uh, a lot of these things, and uh, he uh, enjoys uh, working with video uh, and film uh, for, I guess, a good number of years, maybe, what, 20 years now, Jeff? Mm, pro well, maybe not quite, but... Yeah. Yeah, yeah quite a while. Uh, yeah, I got into uh, photography, of course, in high school. Yeah. In my media class, um, yeah. really interested in cameras and 35 millimeter still shots. Yeah. And uh, of course, that coupled with my interest in film and movies and stuff like that got me into uh, thinking about cinematography, and I got interested in uh, yeah. learning more about the the different formats of film, 16 millimeter and uh, 35 millimeter, and uh, yeah. learning about my my big focus was always though on lighting. Uh, that was my 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 primary thing. Yeah. And um, you know, it's the one. You know, thing that we've we've talked about before is that uh, the one consistent among every format is it's always about light. You're capturing light, and um, light has the power to create mood, has the the power to make you happy, make you sad, make you scared. And uh, whether it's a video camera or a film camera, it's yeah. all about light. It's the it's the one thing that the camera can do that nothing else can do is capture light. Capture light. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Hitchcock was a a master of lighting. Yes. And he's a, you're a huge fan of Hitchcock. Yeah, I always like the Hitchcock. <laughs> yeah, well, that's good. Yeah. So, wow. Now, how do you incorporate um, your lighting? Um, I know, well, with working with you, but I guess we've been working together for, what, 20 Quite years now? <laughs> 20 yeah. years. I, I know that you were very particular on your lighting, and I would be rush, yeah. rushing a video shoot, and you'd be like, yeah. Ron, no, it's got to be right, you know. Well, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> a lot of... Um, a lot of the thing you hear about these uh, cinematographers talking about is it's, it's it's as much about the lights that you don't turn on as it is about the lights that you do turn on. Yeah. And I know that a, a very common sort of, if, if I can say so, I mean, not as a professional, I'm not a professional yeah. cinematographer, but I do know quite a bit about lighting, is um, yeah. people tend to over light, I think. Yeah. And uh, there's too much light, especially in uh, TV shows and stuff like that. There's just, everything's too clear. Yeah. and. Um, I've always noticed that um, the, the, the movies and the things that work best for me are the kinds of things where you're left a little bit more to the imagination. You know, you can yeah. see your subject, but you can't really see what's out in the, uh, out in the peripheral. It, 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 it trails off. And, it, yeah. and for me, I think um, if you've got a full frame that's completely lit and you can see every little detail, it's actually limiting. Yeah. Because... Uh, if you can see your center subject and then it trails off into nothing. Yes, that's right too. Suddenly the world is so much bigger in your head because it's left to you to figure out what, what might be beyond the borders of the frame. That's and right. And so, yeah, it, it's, I think that lighting, um, more than anything, tells the story. Um, yes. You can take a, a ho-hum story and you can actually make it better or you yeah. can make it worse depending on how it's shot. And I don't think that a lot of independent filmmakers care enough about lighting. No. I think they are more about getting the script right or getting the acting right. And yeah. that's important. But um, I think a lot of, uh, a lot of independent filmmakers like us, yeah. you know, just, just hobbyists, you know, yeah. we're not professionals. This is just what we do for that's fun. Right. On that note, <clears throat> to viewers at home, we aren't professionals. Um, we, we claim to be filmmakers but we do it because we like to make movies yeah, and that's what fun. this channel is it's yeah. for guys to make movies so don't um, we gave give suggestions uh, for for viewers out there that are like us and working on uh, movie projects and video projects uh, and uh, the advice is there but uh, you know if you could get more advice more advice is always better oh, and, yeah, yeah. To, you know to research but you don't have to be a technophile. You don't have to be, yeah. a, you know, a, a tech university graduate to make a movie. You know, all you need really is a yeah. camcorder and a couple good ideas and some people to help you. But yeah, um, yeah it, it's 
if you've got the passion to do it, then you've got all the tools you need, really, because this day and age, technology is so ridiculously amazing that, oh, yeah. you know, even with a even with a casual interest in in movie making, you can yeah. you can make some pretty nice looking stuff. You could do some good stuff. You know, yeah. Back in the day when you and I were starting out, you yeah, know, with the old. Uh, yeah. Video eight cameras and stuff Video like eight, that. It, yeah. it was a little more tricky because you had to Yeah. You know, you, <clears throat> the editing was difficult. Yeah. Then uh tape to tape editing was very very tedious and always sacrificing quality yeah. at every t every time you edit you're sacrificing quality. Oh yeah, I remember when it came time to put a soundtrack <clears throat> on it, you might as well just take the whole project yeah. and throw it in the garbage. Yeah, it just or or film it through a sock. Yeah, because by the time you, by yeah. the time you get finished yeah. with it, it looks like crap. Yeah. But um, nowadays, there's really no excuse for having yeah. poor poor quality. No, no, you um, could do a, a decent um, camera, a de de pick up a decent camera at um, any store. Yeah, and they're cheap. Yeah, like for every cell phone is a camcorder now. Three hundred dollars, you, could, you yeah. could have something yeah. like for the poor guy, you know, mm -hmm. and come up with some half decent quality. You know, but if you uh, you really want high end and you really want quality, you have to spend you know maybe a couple thousand. You know. Yeah. You know, I mean, uh, the camera that we got going right here is a uh, pretty high end camera, and it's yeah. you know a couple, almost well, it's about fifteen hundred bucks. Yes, and 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 you can you can do pretty good on it.